what's the purpose of me doing all this? Why am I bothering spending all this time building something, um, you know, epic, and nobody is ever going to see it but me? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like it seems kind of pointless, and then you lose the inspiration. But as soon as, as soon as you know, it doesn't even have to be a lot. But as soon as people start noticing, you know, you throw it, you throw the ship on a server, and you get a comment or two from people saying, "Hey, that's really cool." It's like, okay, you know, yeah, I'm definitely gonna continue. Definitely gonna keep building, and keep whatever. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what, actually. You know how we were going to do that uh, building with thing, Tom? Yeah. I feel like, um... You know how, like, in pottery classes? Yeah. They'll have, like, an they'll have, like, an instructor, and then they'll have the students trying to replicate it. Yeah. Let's feature some, like, dudes who don't get much airtime, like, doing one of those classes. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking yeah. about getting some of our newer players to the game... And like, you know, just basically showing them the ropes, see if we can inspire them with a little few few detailing tricks, saying getting them thinking about basics like, oh, where are you gonna put your rooms? Are you gonna put an airlock in? You're gonna have a door on both sides, back, where do you wanna start? And really really sort of getting people thinking about how they can improve their builds just by a few little tricks, you know, that can easily be learned from just watching a few of the videos. Yeah. Also, can't wait until gravity comes back because I'm surfing. <laughs> but your point I still about don't think watching we can the videos and second stuff. Mm. Um, if it hadn't been for your videos, I would know nothing about how energy generation works on StarMate. Yeah. Uh, we, all those reactor videos. Oh man, we did. That was like a little. That was like the holy grail. That was trying to find out the best, re, the best regen. Uh, and then it was kind of annoying how that how that search ended really. Um, because how it ended was basically a brute force box reactors, and I don't like that. I, I I want that mini game to come back into the into the front, you know. That power regain, that, that mini game was a really good mini game. Got you thinking about it. You know, it wasn't just slap them on. And that's the sad thing now with the sizes. Everything is. Everyone is just like, just slap it on. Well, yeah. with my ships generally being much smaller, I still use the, uh, the was it the nine five two zero fruit shape five oh, well five done. five. Well done. True believer. If, if anyone wants small reactors, uh -oh. that's the way I teach them to build. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! I crashed my surfboard. And although you've got the 992, 9972 design, I can never expand that above 5x5x5. Five by five by five, so yeah, you can't. It doesn't expand. I always teach them, teach them the 95200. Yeah, because it expands. See, I did find a way to expand the 9927. Um, but it was lo it wasn't it did it wasn't lost it wasn't it didn't scale up to what it should have been you know yeah. so it was losing efficiency somewhere but I th someone did crack it but in the end we found that big ass box reactors are just better which is such a shame because yeah you know it just encourages people to make freaking giant boxes which haven't got much to yeah. Well, see, I, I always, the way I learned power generation in the game was think of, the, um, to think of them more like power lines or like electrical wire. And the idea is to run it all the way through the ship. Um, and basically what that ends up being is you, theoretically what you want is you, want the biggest box dim. Yeah, uh, the largest so, XYZ. Right, so you want, you know, so you basically want to take your, uh, from all the way from the tip to tip of the ship in all directions. And so, so I, I learned it that way, which helped me to just simply, okay, here's the front of the ship, run a line from the front of the ship to the back of the ship, and then from both sides, then all the way up and down. Mm. And that's pretty much my power generation in all of my ships. I don't do 
reactors or you know stuff like that. I just yeah. yeah. It's funny because I've gotten to the point where I do a mix. I use the, uh, the I'll do like greatest X Y Z. I can do normally with four times symmetry on, so I get four fairly good power things, and then I'll chuck in a nine five two zero box reactor for decoration. Yeah. Well, and to be honest, I've gotten to the point now where I actually build my power tanks in a giant cube because you get a bonus for having them all stuck in one group, and then yeah. as soon as it's as big as I need it to be. I build a 10 thick layer of power tanks all the way around it. And that ends up giving you a big old dirty brute force box reactor. Because I found that the least efficient blocks in a brute force reactor, which of course you know is basically just a big ass cube of power, um, is the middle of it. The middle of it is the worst, because it's all, you know, when you're talking about that, it's all about the XYZs again, so the outermost layers are the ones that generate the most power, even though it's ridiculously inefficient. But because you can fill the center up, it saves on mass elsewhere, and you could argue that, you know, so what I effectively do is I, um, then I cover the power blocks with shield blocks, and then cover the shield blocks with armor blocks, and then, yeah. That's it done. Done. Hailstorm Mark II. Hailstorm Mark II, yeah. Like, literally, I was like, when I was building it, I was just thinking, how much power can I get inside the build limit? That was that was the design brief. What was the build limit? 800 meters long. I think I went up to 780. So I pushed it, you know. And I got 25 billion power storage out of it, so yeah. That kind how of, quickly does it eat that? Oh god, it, it, I think it eats that in about 30 seconds, maybe less, but 30 oh, seconds man. of fire from that is enough to hurt anything. Anything. It, yeah, because you. Nothing. Yeah, there isn't, because you can't get that many shields. It's just, you know, you can't get that many shields, basically. Oh, when the oh. game crashes when I try to open the structure tab under AMCs. That's yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, because there's just too many groups. It just doesn't know what's going on. But it should be fun when I load it into the pre-build soon, so... Just see how that works. Yeah, we'll see if it doesn't crash. As we, I'll put up the server sometime tomorrow. Oh, it would be wow. interesting to That'd see cool. a hailstorm-sized ship. What the do? AMC would do if it was just one AMC. Oh, well, I've got a hollow one, so I could throw one together. <laughs> just to see. Oh, how'd that quad turn out? Um, well, it just needs to have some turrets put on it, and then I'm done. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's literally it's pretty much done. The only thing is, obviously, I was going to do the interior as well, but uh, for all intents and purposes, in fact, here I'll spawn it. Let me show you. I'll show it because you didn't get to see it. You had to go, didn't you? Ah, here we are, my beauty. I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't put any wedges on it yet. We all thought it looked like a person skydiving. Oh? <laughs> yeah, you like look at it from underneath. Where'd you spot it at? Um, it's right by the base. Oh, I just went up to the shipyard. Yeah, we have a shipyard too. Oh, oh, okay, right, I'll come there. Hang on, let me just... It's negative uh... 511 Riven and I think somebody else is building it. 